general linear model analysis using Minitab. Getting insights into stepwise selection, Tukey tests, lack of fit test and response optimizer techniques. In ANOVA, we compare between group variation to within group variation to determine between groups exist. If the between group variation is small relative to the within group variation, there is little evidence that the population means differ. On the other hand, if the between group variation is large relative to the within group variation, evidence suggests that the population means are not the same. A general linear model is one in which the model for the dependent variable is composed of a linear combination of independent variables that are each multiplied by a weight, which is often referred to as the Greek letter beta, beta, which determines the relative contribution of that independent variable to the model prediction. Use GLM to perform an analysis of variance when you have continuous response data for fixed levels of one or more factors. Minitab software stands out as a statistical powerhouse, equipping users with robust tools for in-depth data analysis and interpretation. A study was conducted to investigate the effects of three factors on the weld strength of device. The factor of interest are wire diameter, material, and the gap between wire and device. Three repeat tests were conducted on each combination of factor levels. The data are shown below. Construct an ANOVA table for these data and perform appropriate tests on the main effects and interactions. General Linear Model GLM. Minitab's procedural guide makes fitting a general linear model straightforward, ensuring that even beginners can navigate the complexities of statistical analysis. Fitting a general linear model in Minitab involves methodically selecting response variables and factors, illuminating paths to deeper insights. Choose STAT ANOVA General Linear Model Fit General Linear Model. In responses, enter weld strength. In factors, enter diameter material gap. Click model. In factors and covariates, select diameter material gap. To the right of interactions through order, select 2, and click Add. Click the Graphs button. Under Residual Plots, select 4 in 1. Click OK in each dialog box. Under Method, select Stepwise. Under Display the table of model selection criteria, select Include details for each step. Click OK in each dialog box. Stepwise regression becomes a strategic method in model building, allowing for a dynamic selection process that enhances model accuracy. Forward selection starts with an empty model. Then, Minitab adds the most significant term for each step. Minitab stops when all variables not in the model have p-values that are greater than the specified alpha to enter value. Backward elimination method starts with all potential terms in the model and removes the least significant term for each step. Minitab stops when all variables in the model have p-values that are less than or equal to the specified alpha to remove value. Stepwise selection combines forward and backward methods, offering a balanced approach to model building that adapts as analysis progresses. It adding and removing predictors as it builds the model. Minitab stops when all variables have p-values that are greater than the specified alpha to enter value. Stepwise selection removes and adds variables to the regression model to identify a useful subset of the predictors. The first predictor put in the stepwise model is the predictor that has the smallest p-value. Minitab stops when predictors in the model have p-values that are greater than the specified alpha to enter value which is 0.15. Minitab's iterative process in stepwise selection demonstrates its ability to fine-tune models, leading to a refined set of predictors that capture essential dynamics. In the first step, Minitab added gap to the model. Then, diameter was added. After second step, no predictors outside the model have p-values less than 0.15. Therefore, this is the final stepwise regression model. ANOVA tables paired with lack of fit tests provide a comprehensive view of model adequacy, ensuring that the chosen model fits the data well. 
significant p-values in an ANOVA table signal meaningful effects, guiding decisions with statistical confidence and precision. In the analysis of variance table, the p-values for diameter and gap are less than the significance level of 0.05, the engineer can conclude that the effects are statistically significant. A high p-value in lack of fit tests reassures that the model captures the relationship between variables accurately, without overfitting. There is sufficient evidence at the alpha 0.05 level to conclude that there is no lack of fit in the regression model. There is a linear relationship between x and y. R-squared, R-squared adjusted and R-squared predicted. An R-squared value of 61.53% not only quantifies model fit but also reassures that the chosen factors significantly explain the variability. R-squared to determine how well the model fits your data. The higher the R-squared value, the better the model fits your data. R-squared adjusted is a modified version of the R-squared that takes into account the number of predictors in a regression model. The adjusted R-squared value will only increase if the new variables significantly improve the model's performance. Use R-squared, predicted, to determine how well your model predicts the response for new observations. Models that have larger R-squared, predicted, values have better predictive ability. Multiple comparisons tests navigate the statistical landscape, identifying truly significant differences amidst a sea of data. Tukey's method for pairwise comparison shines a light on the specific differences between groups, guiding informed decisions with precision. Choose STAT, ANOVA, General Linear Model Comparisons. From Response, select Weld Strength. Under Type of Comparison, select Pairwise. Under Method, select Tukey. Under Choose Terms for Comparisons, double-click Diameter and Gap. Click Graphs. Check interval plot for differences of means. Click OK in each dialog box. In the grouping information using the Tukey method and 95% confidence, groups that do not share a letter are significantly different. Groups that share a letter are not significantly different. Diameter 0.75 and 0.85 do not share a same letter, it shows that both are significantly different. Tukey's method is used to create confidence intervals for all pairwise differences between factor level means while controlling the family error rate to a level you specify. An interval between 0.75 and 0.85 does not contain zero, the corresponding means between them are significant different. An interval between 1.2 and 1.4 does not contain zero, the corresponding means between them are significant different. Factorial Plot Choose STAT, ANOVA, General Linear Model Factorial Plots. From Response, select Weld Strength. Under Variables to include in plots, move diameter material and gap into selected list. Click OK. The diameter at 0.75 and gap of 1.2 show the higher mean among their respective group. Residual Analysis Residual analysis is the primary tool for determining whether the assumed regression model is appropriate. The deviations between the actual and predicted values are called errors, or residuals. You should examine residual plots and other diagnostic statistics to determine whether your model is adequate and the assumptions of regression are met. If your model is not adequate, it will incorrectly represent your data. There are three assumptions of error which are normally distributed, constant variance for all fitted values and random and independent over time. For normal probability plot, the points on the normal probability plot roughly follow a straight line, you can assume that the residuals do not deviate substantially from a normal distribution. For histogram, an exploratory tool to show general characteristics of the residuals including typical values, spread, and shape. No outliers being observed. For residuals versus fitted values, the constant variance assumption does not appear to be violated because the residuals are randomly scattered about zero and have approximately the same scatter for all fitted values. 
For residual versus order, the residuals in the plot should fluctuate in a random pattern around the center line. It violated the assumption of independent if residuals systematically decrease or increase or sudden change as the order of the observations increases from left to right. Response Optimizer Choose STAT, ANOVA, General Linear Model a Response Optimizer. Under Optimize up to 25 responses, select Maximize as goal, click OK. Using the Response Optimizer, the optimized settings to maximize the mean are diameter 0.75 and gap of 1.2. The fitted mean is 6.7275. Composite Desirability, D, evaluates how the settings optimize a set of responses overall. Desirability has a range of 0 to 1. 1 represents the ideal case, 0 indicates that one or more responses are outside their acceptable limits. Here, the optimal desirability 0.7614 is close to 1, which indicates the settings seem to achieve favorable results for the response. Use fit general linear model to fit least squares models when you have a continuous response, categorical factors, and optional covariates. Stepwise regression is a combination of the forward and backward selection techniques. It adding and removing predictors as it builds the model. Tukey's method is used to create confidence intervals for all pairwise differences between factor level means while controlling the family error rate to a level you specify. Would you kindly consider liking and subscribing to our channel? Your support means a lot to us. Bye, see you next time.